And welcome back to Hannity. Joining us now, more reaction to the news. Hillary Clinton rigged, stole the 2016 Democratic primary against Bernie Sanders. Former Clinton pollster, Fox News contributor, Doug Schoen, Florida, Attorney General Pam Bondi. Welcome to New York, by the way. Thank Good to you. see you. You too. Um, look, I don't, you hear me regularly say about the Republicans. They're weak, they're spineless, right. they're gutless, they lack vision, they lack any identity even today. Mm-hmm. I think you are as honest with your party as I am being with mine. Let, let me be honest. This entire process was corrupt. We read what Donna Brazil said. But Bernie Sanders was in the tank himself two days before the California primary asking for speaking engagements in Plains of the Fall. He was in the tank. And Donna Brazil, we know what she did. She was illegally giving questions or morally, uh, reprehensibly, giving questions that CNN had to uh, the Can Democrats. Can you think of a time in American history that a primary was stolen? I mean, I know we've had walk sure. around money and all these other things. Stolen. This is stolen. Go in the tank. Cheat. Lie. This is horrendous. I say this as a Democrat who is still a Democrat. I'm a centrist, middle of the road. I disagree with the Republicans. But how can I defend this? I can't, Sean, and I won't. I don't blame you. Sean, and nor can the Democrats defend it. It's impossible for them to defend it. This is despicable, really, what she did. And now look what look what Hillary Clinton's doing now. By her book appearances, by all her signings, all her public appearances, she is still, a, still in control of the Democratic Party. All right. Let's talk about laws. You're an attorney general. Greg Jarrett sees potential violations of laws on this and paying for the salacious lies Russian propaganda dossier. dossier, which finally she admitted she mm-hmm. had to because of all the new information out. Um, laws broken? I, I firmly believe there are laws broken. And that, you know, it's interesting because Comey used all the Russian, Russian interest as a reason to get a special prosecutor. Well, now they need to start looking at Hillary Clinton. All right, let's put up on the firmly. screen. Let's put up on the screen if we can. I'll throw my glasses on off camera so you can't see. Um, but it says, this is from Donna Brazil's book. You know, when I got back from a vacation at Martha's Vineyard, I at last found the document that described it all. The joint funding fundraising agreement between the DNC, the Hillary Victory Fund, and Hillary for America. Then it goes on. The agreement signed by Amy Dacey, the former CEO of the DNC, Robbie Mook, who was the manager, uh, with a copy to Mark Elias. Remember that name. And I'll tell you more later, specified that in an exchange for raising money and investing in the DNC, Hillary would control the party's finances, their strategy and all the money raised. And then it goes on. Her campaign had the right of refusal of who would be the party's communication director and it would make final decisions on all other staff. Now, I uh, this to me coming directly from Donna Brazil and like you, I've known Donna Brazil for years. Mm-hmm. She never would have taken the job. She has ethics. I understand on the question, and I know she regretted it a lot, and she took a lot of heat for it. But put it, put it aside. She's admitting her party is that deeply corrupt and that Hillary controlled the whole thing. I can't so, believe what again, I'm reading. Let me be clear. I think, Pam, from what you said, you'd agree with me. Given the Uranium One deal, given the concerns that Greg Jarrett raised, that you've raised, Sean... Why wouldn't we have, just in the interest of fairness, a special prosecutor to look at what Hillary did as they're looking at the president? Where is the attorney general, Pam? I I always like Jeff Sessions. I am sitting here. I am mind-numbingly. I just cannot understand his inaction on all of these issues. Doug is right. We need a special prosecutor. Uranium One giving up 20% of our uranium, all the money kicked back to our... The dossier, that's Russian-funded lies and propaganda, stealing a Democratic primary, funneling money through a law firm. There's a break... Subpoenaed emails, deleted emails, acid wash emails, bleach bit emails, broken blackberries. How much corruption do we need here for any one individual before something happens? I'm sorry. There has to be something happening. There has to be. And, you know, General Sessions has taken himself completely out of the Russian investigation. So there's a special prosecutor, and Mueller's got to go after Hillary Clinton. How is it possible in 09 that Mueller 
The FBI, Eric Holder, had to know they had an FBI informant. That bribery, kickbacks, extortion, money laundering, and racketeering. Putin's spies in America, they knew about it. 2009. Yeah. All of this is happening. Putin wants to corner the uranium market. We don't have enough uranium on our own. Right. Wants to corner the uranium market. And they know about the crimes, and they did nothing. And they allowed this deal to go through. There was a reset with Putin. Remember that famous tape where uh, President Obama said to uh, Russian uh, Medvedev, Medvedev uh, I'll be able to be more flexible. Tell, tell, tell Vladimir. Term. Tell Vladimir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that was in 2012. Yep. But, but, but why would anyone give 20 percent of our uranium when we don't have enough uranium you, you resources? Wouldn't, Sean, you wouldn't do any of this if we were being rational and logical. And my point, simply, if we're going to investigate the president, which I think is the right thing to do. No evidence of collusion yet. But, but None. let's None. finish the investigation and let's investigate Hillary. But we do have evidence here. We have evidence on, on a stolen election. We have evidence on obstruction of justice, right. uh, ignoring subpoenas, uh, what she paid for, money laundering, I would argue, in the case of the Russian dossier, and now Uranium One, which we gave up our national security, and she gets... All that money back. You'd be a great prosecutor, and I wish you were the special prosecutor. I wish I was the attorney general. If she didn't know about the 12.6 million that went through Perkins Coal to Fusion GPS, I'm the queen of Siam. There you go. And no one of us. You're the queen of where? Siam. Siam. Okay. I'm a joke, but she knew. I understand. I worked for Bill Clinton. No candidate doesn't know. Did you know she was this deeply corrupt that she would steal a primary? No, I, I could not have fathomed that what we've learned and what you've reported would have happened. Donna Brazil. It, fortunately, I disavowed her Last before word. the election. I know on your you did. Show. I know you did. Take politics out of this. No one has the right to violate the rules we all share. Equal That's in the jury and justice under Absolutely. the law. Absolutely. I'd be in jail. He'd be in jail. Well, we You'd be would. in jail. We all should be if that happened. And she needs right. to be looked at and must be. We're only touching the surface. Thank you both. Good to see you in New York. Doug, Thank always you. good to Great. see you. Thank you. We have massive new developments on the Uranium One scandal. The two reporters who've been all over this, they're like the Woodward and Bernstein of our day. Solomon, Carter, next, straight ahead.